adding a new customer in QQ Catalyst. Adding a new customer is easy. From anywhere within the program, you can click on New Contact from the dock. Once the guided workflow begins, set your contact type to Customer. Select whether they are a personal or commercial account and set the current status. Your workflows will change depending upon the customer type you choose, whether personal or commercial. Select the designated agency location for this customer and enter their personal information. Once you click Next, your customer will be saved in your contacts. Now that you've entered the guided workflow, you may begin with entering phone numbers and email addresses for your customer. Enter as many phone numbers and email addresses as you need. Navigation in the guided workflow is simple and intuitive. You can move around by clicking on the guided workflow tabs. You can click on the next tab to go forward in the workflow and the previous tab to go back in the workflow. Use the guided workflow tabs to go directly to the specific section that you need. Clicking on the double arrows will show more sections if there are sections that are not visible on the screen. Clicking on the page number section will move you back or forward one screen. While you are working, if you have to go to a different part of QQ Catalyst, you can always stack where you are and come back later. When you get to the addresses screen, enter all the information and make sure to select the proper address type. You can add as many addresses as you need. On the personal information screen, enter the customer data. On the account information screen, you can enter general information about the customer's account. You can modify the fields, including the CSR or the agent assigned to the customer. You can also track the source of the client. In the additional contact section, once you've added a contact and saved it, you can edit it or remove it. On the Social Media tab, copy and paste the customer's social media links. In the Social Media screen, you can enter the Facebook ID of the customer. To get the Facebook ID, access the customer's profile on Facebook and copy and paste the URL or ID. After you finish creating this customer contact, as you will notice later on in the video, you will see the customer's Facebook profile picture. When you have entered all the customer information and clicked Finish, the guided workflow for this contact will be complete. The customer contact has now been created. Notice the customer's Facebook photo. You can always access and edit this customer record from the contacts in the global navigation. Here's what you've just seen in this video. How to add a customer using the guided workflow how to navigate through the guided workflow, and how to stack. Additional selections can be added to the following fields. Industry and occupation, agent and CSR, and client source. Please contact your system administrator to add selections to these fields.